The team behind 181 Fremont set out to do more than construct a building that would stand the test of time. Their aim was higher. They sought to reshape the San Francisco skyline and create the most resilient residential building on the West Coast. A design steeped in beauty and ingenuity, one that was beautiful on the outside and ingenious beneath the surface. To do this, they called upon the world's foremost architects, engineers, and artisans to create a building that rises to exceed all expectations. The result is a world-class modern landmark that has received more commendations for its safety, design, and seismic resilience than any other building in the U.S. The Council on Tall Buildings and Urban Habitat awarded 181 Fremont global recognition for Best Structural Engineering and Best Geotechnical Engineering. It also earned awards of excellence for Best Tall Building, MEP Engineering, Structural Engineering, Fire and Risk, and Geotechnical Engineering. It achieved Platinum LEED certification, the highest level of certification from the standard-setting U.S. Green Building Council. Perhaps most significant is 181 Fremont's distinction as the first building in the world to earn a Ready Gold Rating, a new Beyond Code benchmark for seismic construction developed by Arup and a global consortium of engineers. Resiliency to the industry means that the building is resilient enough that it will be functioning even after an earthquake event. You have to go through a seismic peer review process. You have to prove to the city that the building will function. And when you go to gold standard resiliency, you're taking it one step further and saying, not only will it just not topple down, but you'll be able to occupy it very quickly after. To achieve this unprecedented level of resiliency, 181 Fremont's structural engineers had to think outside of the box, literally. They devised an ingenious steel exoskeleton structural support system that behaves like a giant shock absorber whenever there is seismic activity underfoot. Arup came in with their idea of the shock absorbers. That was actually a very powerful idea because it took the design to a whole nother level. The design didn't change, it's the same design we did, but it made it lighter and more seismically resilient. And by making it lighter, it became way more efficient. So the amount of steel in the building much lower. They say they could build a 29-story building with the steel they saved. Very impressive. Remarkably, some of the building's most incredible features are ones you cannot see including a series of viscous dampers which allow for a completely elastic superstructure. The building also features 42 reinforced concrete caissons, each extending more than 200 feet below ground and socketed into the bedrock. With the longest caisson extending more than 260 feet, they are the deepest caissons of any residential tower in the city. 181 Fremont's foundation is able to lift itself slightly to create additional space for movement with a set of safety elevators designed to remain operational during seismic activity. The exoskeleton design also allows for column-free interior floor plans, maximizing living space and minimizing sightline obstructions for the best views imaginable. The exoskeletal aspect of the building means we don't have to have any interior columns until you get to the elevators and the central core. But the core is just a functioning core, it's not so much of a structural core. And it makes the floor by floor more efficient. 181 Fremont's stance and exoskeleton support system combine into one notable design element. Every floor is uniquely sized and shaped with no more than four residences per floor. As a result, each and every residence at 181 Fremont is completely unique, just like its residents. This building really represents the true, new, adventurous, global San Francisco. It demonstrates to people that this building is uniquely made to address the nature of San Francisco, and it's expressed in the design. So this will stand out and it'll always stand out.